Uh, so, first of all, <laughs> Maureen, for those of you that have been living under a rock, she is a great commentator who commentated in the CPT finals of this year. She's an amazing player who's been, uh, who was sponsored by UIU at some point uh, and, you know, goes to tournaments and beats people up in the video games, and it's uh, amazing. She is an XO Academy alum. So for those mm -hmm. of you that remember, we had Persia on this show like years and years ago when XO Academy had just started. Uh, so it's great that we have an alum of, uh, of the program so we can talk about it. And, you know, all around amazing person. So I'm so happy you can be here on the show with us tonight. I, I, yeah, I thank wanna... you so much. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Nah, thank you. Hey, uh, I want to start all the way from the beginning, right? Um, you started in the Minnesota scene. My first question is, how did you find out about locals and where to go? And like, how did you find out about where to go to get like uh, the local experience? Huh, that's a really good question. I'm trying to like dig deep in my brain because it's like it's been so long, you know. Um, I guess like how I really started out, uh, I met um, this one guy who was like, you know, into fighting games and all that stuff. And I guess like it really didn't uh, interest me as much. But uh, after we parted ways, I was like, hmm, I do kind of want to get into fighting games. That's really cool. It's because, you know, obviously it's just something that like I really want to get into, like besides a uh, like cosplay and um, other like art stuff. So um, that kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess like it would be kind of weird saying like, hey, thanks to my uh, ex significant other for <laughs> introducing me to fighting games. Like it's weird, right? But um, all in all, like on the, another side of me is like, you know, I really love video games. Obviously like we grew up playing video games and mm -hmm. it's kind of like, oh, I kind of like playing adventure RPGs or I like playing race uh, racing games and all that stuff. But fighting games has just been really intriguing because it's just so universal in ways where you can come up with different kinds of combos, different kinds of characters that fit your style. And you're like, yeah, this is me. I'm her or I'm him, you know, or it, it, it's always fun just thinking about that. But I think that's more of like my gateway is, you know, just being a video game fan and then having someone that had shown me uh, fighting games in the past. OK, awesome. Yeah. And I asked that because like that's I think like the big unanswered question is like how do we tell people where like their local scene is right so it's super cool that like this is i think honestly like the big <laughs> the big answer i've gotten or most of the answer i gotten is they just googled it and found a facebook group so it's cool that like your story is a little bit different because it's word of mouth but when you first joined and when you first started going to locals uh i heard that there was a little bit of a pushback from the scene uh when you started going can you tell us a little bit about that yeah so um I, I feel like um, when you hear like pushback or just more of like an experience that I had um, being a minority in the FGC, because you know how the FGC is like very male dominant, um, I definitely had experience, you know, um, uh, misogyny, you know, just someone that's just being a straight up asshole, just because it's like, oh, you're a girl, you know, like, why are you in the scene? Are you here for attention? Are you here to like date someone, you know, and it's just really tiring because, um, you know, I was there because I really wanted to learn fighting games and I really wanted to see what kind of fighting game that I would get into. Um, yeah, it, it was just like kind of heartbroken because I never really dealt with that kind of um, negativity before. Um, because, you know, like, uh, when I was cosplaying, like, everyone is super nice, you know, like, very sweet, and they're very open, not, uh, not judgmental in any way. But again, just retracting back to being a minority in the FGC, it's just really, how I, like, like, difficult, or just like, wow, like, this person actually said that to me. And I'm not gonna lie, like, after that happened, like, I, I actually did cry. <laughs> so, oh, man, like, why are people so mean to me, you know, I guess, like, um, Maybe they've never seen like a woman play um, fighting games before. Like, mm -hmm. Obviously, like there's women uh, playing video games, and which is not like fighting games. So um, honestly, after that whole um, whole thing that went down, I was like, you know what? I really want to get better, just so I can show them off. You know, like I really want them to shut up about oh, women can't play video games. They're like, why are you in the FGC? You're here for attention, and. I was like, dang, I'm I'm kind of sad that you think that way because you know a lot of like really good video games, including you know like 
men and you know like um anyone else in the scene like you can get really good at video games if you put your mind into it mm-hmm. yeah uh die by sword in our chat says that he hopes you sent them all to the losers bracket which i can only assume is what <laughs> happened uh, I think he just like like vanished from the scene, which is fine. Like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sounds like a good solution. Uh, th- this is a bit of a loaded question, and I don't mean it f- to be yeah. such, but I'm bad at wording. Uh, in your opinion, do you think that like that misogynistic side of the FGC has gotten any better over the years, or is it still like at- just as bad as when you were starting out? Hmm. You know, like, I don't want to say for um, everyone who has been harassed in the FGC, especially women who have dealt with um, sexual harassment or, yeah, misogyny, know for a fact that it's there. And I feel like it's always there because, you know, someone's just not going to, like, think in the same level as, like, other people. Like, hey, you should respect women. You should respect your trans folks. You should respect whoever that you meet. Um, It's just just always going to be there. But... Like, from what I've seen, I think it's gotten a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people have been really understanding and, like, just, like, I don't care if you're a girl or a boy or, like, whoever you would identify as. Like, we're just friends. That's all that I, that I think about. So, and so much better. But, obviously, there can be room of room of improvements. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is a question just because I, I'm, you know, uh, I the privilege uh uh, sex i guess or like identifier uh is there like what are some ways that like people like me who go to tournaments but like don't like don't have that experience like is there anything that people like me can do to help like uh either like root out some of this misogyny or harassment or anything like that hmm i just feel like oh Oh man, you know, now that I think about it, like obviously um, in person events, you'll never see that happen because yeah. I feel like they're too scared to even like say something so head ass like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously, like if it ever comes to that situation where it does happen, like, you know, like protect your folks, you know, like just call them out on that and be like, hey, yo, like that's not even cool. Like you shouldn't say that. Because um, again, you know, like I said, there are a bunch of people who are really understanding and more accepting of um, everyone in the community. Um, I feel like it's hard to do it uh, online because it's just someone behind mm-hmm. like, you know, the screen or like just yeah. saying something and then just turning off their phone afterwards. Um, it's really hard, but whenever it comes to something like that online, it's like, they'll never come to an offline event ever, you know? Yeah. Like they'll never see you, they'll never do anything. And I know like those words are super hurtful, but it's like, screw them, you know, mm-hmm. like you're doing you. And of course you're helping other people to be, to feel um, more comfortable in the scene. And that's what I have been seeing so far mm-hmm. um, as of like, I guess like pre COVID um, it was kind of um, problematic. I know that um, I would be lying if I said it isn't prob- problematic anymore mm-hmm. now, but obviously like it's still there, but it's definitely get, gotten a lot better. Okay. That's good. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I wish there was like a button we could just turn that shit off. Uh, 